Colon's Gate is a cult classic on the PlayStation. Due to released at the console launch, it was delayed for four years and eventually released in 1997. Cologne's Gate is an ambitious RPG taking place in Cologne, China. The city was a giant slum with infamous architectural choices built by the people over the time. It was named the City of Darkness until its demolition in 1993. Established in a dying world, the game yet manages to spread a Zen feeling, influenced by the Chinese word Wang, which means absurd, without reason and without order. Colon's Gate was made by Art Dings Nakaji Kimura. We will also work on Chin Megami Tensei Nocturne as a scenario writer, and mostly designed by Kuki Inoue, future creator of the Dot Act series. You play a feng shui master whose goal is to restore the balance between yin and yang which has been distorted recently. This causes a lot of surreal perturbations in the world. For instance, when people get obsessed by an object or an idea, they mutate and become that thing in a very fluxuous way. The characters and creatures in the game are then represented as the heroes of their own ideally grotesque theater play, similar to another cult classic RPG by Sting called Baroque. <laughs> Colon's Gate plays in first person point of view, like a classic adventure game, where we automatically advance from screen to screen in an extremely fluid way, so as to solve the 50 quests of the game. This part is called the JPEG Dungeon, and there is no combat. Usually, the quest will ask you to make a small journey in the real dungeons of the game, which are played in real time, also in first-person point of view, and where you have to fight mutants and enemies. Deeply rooted in Chinese and Buddhist traditions, Kulon's Gate then reveals its real objective, to be a peaceful RPG where we do not fight with shots and blood. There are two types of combat. The Feng Shui battles against normal enemies and item battles during boss battle.
In Feng Shui mode, you use the circle of elements called the Yi Jing, the Book of Changes. Each mutant encountered in the game has a major element in its Yi Jing. In order to destroy it, it is necessary to attack it with the opposite element to its own, or to absorb the five elements of its Yi Jing. Then, item-based combats during boss battle ask you to use an item that you must logically own, and which is the weak point of the enemy. <laughs> Those battle systems did not exist in the original game concept, but were introduced because Nakaji Kimura wanted to use the conflicting relationship of the Yijing elements in the game. In addition to offering a relaxing and original gameplay, Columns Gate benefits from a brilliant artistic direction by Kuki Inoue and an extraordinary graphic engine that can display high-definition screens and backgrounds. The moods and colors remain very dark throughout the game, and the player regularly feels uncomfortable. The music, composed by Kunyaki Aishima, is always supported by Chinese percussions and vocal eccentricities, and manages to express a feeling of purity that suits Cologne's gate wonderfully. Colon's Gate is surprising, scary, sumptuous, freaky, with surreal cocktail design and a rusty atmosphere of the finest quality. This Feng Shui RPG was released on four CDs, one more than Final Fantasy VII, containing numerous cinematics and digitized voices. Colon's Gate is Japan only, but there are two complete Japanese guides on the internet that you can Google Translate in English and enjoy this masterpiece. In 2007, Columns Gate's main creators reunited in order to commemorate the game's release 10th anniversary and reproduced Columns City in Second Life, the online virtual world developed by Linden Lab. It is said that Cookie Inoue owns a characters in Second Life 
but since his pseudonym was never revealed, no one has ever met him in Colosseum. They reunited 10 years later for Colon's Gate 20th anniversary with the release of Colon's Gate VR Suzaku on PlayStation 4, funded by the people on Comfire, the Japanese Kickstarter. It is an immersive first person experience which reproduced the JPEG dungeon port of the original Colon's Gate in really high resolution. The city changes every day, depending on the time you connect into it. You can enjoy Cologne's world while communicating with other users and take pictures of your favorite places. A sequel called Cologne's Rhizome, A Day of the Fire, is due to release this year for PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Hopefully, it will become another cult classic. <laughs>